we saw conger eels as thick as your leg. Other times we had big sharks, like two and a half metre sharks, come swimming across the screen. Sometimes the screen would just start raining leather jackets. We saw girdled wrasse, hagfish, yeah, lots of really cool stuff. I'm not a diver, so being able to actually see it myself is brilliant. In February and March 2017, we um, conducted a baited underwater video survey in Akaroa and uh, Pahatu Marine Reserves and in um, surrounding control sites. What that involved was leaving nice and early in the morning and spending the day setting and retrieving um, baited cameras from inside and outside the marine reserves. It's kind of a different method entirely from what we've done in the past. In the past it's always been using divers or potting and that kind of is quite restricted whereas this covers a lot more ground a lot quicker and providing we get the, the conditions to suit. I was the guy who was responsible for going over the hours and hours of video that we collected, basically counting all the individual fish for every species that we saw, um, which sort of allows us to turn the video footage into the data uh, that we need to answer the questions that we're interested in. The main things we've learned from this first survey is that um, the method works. I guess we were quite surprised to see the diversity of life that was attracted to the camera. We probably expected to see, you know, five, maybe ten species if we were lucky. We saw about 30 different types of fish uh, in, around Banks Peninsula um, and that was pretty surprising for us. We don't often see those when we're doing dive surveys for example. The other finding was that um, reef fish like blue cod and moki appear to be more abundant and typically also larger inside the marine reserves but we have to be careful with the conclusions we draw from just one year of data. Now it's a matter of being able to repeat it, having the conditions, the weather and the sea conditions right. We'd like to be able to turn this into a long-term monitoring project where we can really access sort of the, the range of impacts on, on the, our taonga fish species. After we've been able to repeat the survey several times, we'll have some more information to help with decision making around marine reserves in the future. And again, it comes down to that we've got that, that video information, it's not just graphs, we've actually got stuff we can show people. And that's something we can actually pass on to the public and to the iwi and the recreational fishers, which is absolutely brilliant.